talk about Victor Von Doom reuniting with the love of his life. We see Doom in very rare form as he is sitting unarmored and requesting the help of mystics. He tells this fortune teller of his life's work, all of the machines that he's created, his dedication to the sciences. He's finally realized that for all he's done, it's never brought him what he's wanted out of life as the old woman speaks the name Valeria. Doom heads out to leave. He tells her that he has resources beyond imagination. He will do anything in his power to find the woman that he loves. See Doom in Casamonte, Georgia, as he thinks to himself how much he hates dealing with these pathetic imitations of sorcerers, and how much he hates America in general, because typically he prefers civilization. No matter how disgusted he is with those around him, this is the place where Valeria's trail ends. The next day we see Doom sitting down, thinking to himself, another day, another fraud. After Victor's father died, Valeria became his entire world. He inherited his mother's heirlooms and discovered sorcery. Her by his side, he spent the nights practicing the dark arts while he spent the days studying science. And eventually, word of the technologies that he was coming up with spread all around the world. One day, a soldier from the United States comes bearing multiple scholarship offers for him, opening the door for Victor to finally study in the most prestigious and modern facilities in the world, provided that he would move to America. He tells this woman about how he and Valeria reached the point where hearts break. He had no familial obligation to keep him from leaving their tribe, but Valeria did. Despite all of her love for Victor, she gives him an ultimatum. This new world that he's going out and chasing, or the familiar one, the one with her, whatever one he chooses, he would have to leave the other behind forever. And he made the hard choice. Valeria knows of the man that Victor has become since that fateful day. Because of that, she lives in hiding, hoping that their paths never cross again. Despite all of Victor's doubting, right there in front of him in the crystal ball, he sees a home as the woman tells him that they're not all posers. She tells him Valeria's there, Victor. She's just down the street, and she's waiting for you. He walks into the home. Valeria looks at him and says, you weren't supposed to find me, but he tells her he just wants to give her the locket. She opens it up and looks inside. Victor tells her that he loves her. He still does, and he always has. He is young and foolish, and he wants her back tells him that boy she loved is long gone, that he doesn't exist anymore. His place has been taken by a wicked and evil man that good people can barely stand to whisper his name. As he comes to her vulnerable, without his armor, without protection, he made the wrong choice all those years ago. He just wants the chance to choose again. She tells him that the love that she once had for him is gone. Doom pulls his mask off and reveals his face. As she looks him in the eyes, he tells her, no it isn't. If it were, you would be like the others, too repelled to even glance at me tells her he's giving up his armor, he's rejecting his life of science, he will leave his entire life behind, if only she will take his hand. As he opens up the old music box that he made for her all those years ago, he tells Valeria that your love will make me a changed man. He looks to the locket one more time and tells Victor that none of this is what she expected from him. While she doesn't want to promise anything, Victor just asks if she will give him a chance. Reaching his hand out, she grabs it and says certainly. As the locket starts glowing, runes start running up Valeria's arm as she's screaming to the top of her lungs, what is happening to me? And Doom tells her all those years ago, he chose a life of science over a life of sorcery, and he wanted to choose again. They had a pact with the deal of demons to turn him into the sorcerer that he could have been had he pursued magic all those years ago. But of course, as deals with demons go, he had to give up something valuable and irreplaceable. And as her flesh literally burns off of her bones in front of him, Victor tells her, farewell my love. I will miss you more than you would ever imagine. 